We are now being joined live from Abuja Studios by the, an economist and former Director General of the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Chidioke Ekechuku. You're welcome to the News at 10. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. The new poverty index puts the number of Nigerians living below poverty line at over 94 million. How reliable do you think this number is? It is obviously reliable. Um, when you were talking about inequalities, inequality actually is a global phenomenon. Um, there are a good number of Nigerians who cannot afford one single meal, while a few of them can actually afford, can, can actually be richer than most countries of the world. So it's not only in Nigeria that you have this kind of phenomenon. Um, it is global, like I said. It's so global that uh, in 2015 at the World Economic Forum in Davos, uh, it was identified as the most threatening um, thing in the economic growth of the entire world, you know, inequality. So um, the figure I mentioned sh should be a reality. And uh, that is just to tell you what is going on in this country, in Africa, and the entire world. What do you make of the president's recent comments that data coming from some international organizations may not be reliable? Um, well, for now, those are the more authentic uh, data we have. Um, when we have data coming from IMF, World Bank, um, and we also have data coming from our, our own CBN and the uh, Bureau of Information. Um, we should be able to rely on some of them. But to say the least, it is always good to benchmark such information when we get them from outside the country because they cannot have more um, information than this country. And so we need to have our system to be as accurate as possible, even if it means um, engaging institutions that are not of government um, to be able to give us information and data that should be um, relied on and accurate, to say, this, to, to, to say the least. In view of this new data, is the president's promise that the federal government will work to lift 100 million Nigerians out of the poverty line in 10 years realistic? It is realistic, obviously, if um, there is enough political will to do so. Um, from his body language and everything he has said in the last few years, you could see that he really wants to lift uh, this country out of poverty. Um, but whether the policies that would make that happen um, will eventually succeed in doing so is a different thing altogether. Uh, whether the policies will actually be followed to ensure that he achieves that is another thing altogether. Otherwise, it is possible to lift um, the population out of poverty. Again, you will know that the population of Nigeria is growing at a rate higher than our growth rate. And when you see that kind of situation where the population rate today, um, growth rate today is about 2.7 and our growth rate uh, before now, before this year was about 1.9%, um, you will see that if that continues like that, um, it may be difficult. It may be easy to say, but, but difficult because the figures are not going to allow that to happen. Otherwise, um, we need to check our population. We need to also increase our growth rate to be ahead of the population rate for us to be able to achieve this going forward. Now, beyond the population, and to be able to do that, okay. it is not just a duty. Uh, it's not just a duty for the federal government to be able to do that. The state governors should be major stakeholders in this. You know, many times pressure will be on federal government. Meanwhile, these individuals we're talking about, the, the poverty-stricken people we're talking about, are in the various states, in the various local government areas. So all the state governors have a lot to do to be able to make the president achieve this feat. So Dr. we think the governors should be able to do a lot. Dr. Chijoke Kichuku, it was a pleasure having you with us on the News at 10. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.